Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to solve fill in the blanks questions that comes from chapter number 13 called database concepts. So let us begin with fill in the blanks choosing the appropriate word or words from those given in brackets. Repeated answers will not be considered. Here we have given the answers in the bracket. We have to choose the appropriate word to the specific fill in the blank question. Let us begin with collection of rows and columns is called as. So collection of rows and columns together we call it as table. So here question number 157th answer is table. Next 158th question dash is a collection of interrelated data. So here database is a collection of interrelated data hence 158 database next 159 data duplication is called as data duplication is redundancy so here 159th question next 160th dash is a software for creating and managing databases so here dbms is the software that is used to manage and create databases so hence 160th question's answer is DBMS. So, 161st protection of data is the security. So, here 161 is security. Now, the process of hiding irrelevant details from user is called data abstraction. So, here 162nd question is. Uh, data abstraction 163rd dash is the lower level of data abstraction so it is a physical level 163 164 internal level is also known as so internal level is also known as internal level only so here this is 164th questions answer so dash of abstraction deals with logical structure of the entire database so that is the conceptual level here this one is the 165th questions answer the highest level of abstraction that deals with the user's view of the database is called that is view level this one is 166th question answer let us move on to next fill in the blanks 167th question the structure of database is called as it is called schema so here this one is 167th question answer 168 dash is the symbol used to represent entity here rectangle is used to represent entity hence this one is 168th question answer 169 row of a table is also called as it is called tuple so this one is right answer 170th question dash software for creating and managing databases so here my sql is the right answer so this one is 170th question answer 171 dash is a combination of serial and random file organization so this one is isam that is indexed sequential access method now let us move on to next five fill in the blanks here 172nd question is dash level is also called as external level in data abstraction so here view level is called external level that is 172nd answer 123rd question is dash is the symbol used to represent a relationship in er diagram so that is diamond is the uh, symbol which is used to represent relationship in ER diagram. So that is 173rd question's answer. 174. Person who have the authorization to access monitor database is. So that is DBA. Here 174th question. DBA means database administrator. Next 175th question. Dash is the software for creating and managing databases. So here Oracle is the database. That is 175th question's answer. 176th question Extracting and discovery of knowledge from large amount of data is called data mining. So, this one is the 
76th question answer 177th question dash keys are the keys which are not currently selected as primary key so that is candidate key is the right answer 177th 178 dash is the repository of organizations electronically stored data so that is called warehouse here it is 178th questions answer 179 father of relational algebra is ef cord so 179th question answer 180 dash is set of values in each row it is called instances so here this one is 179th question answer um next we will go for okay this is 180th question answer sorry so we'll make it 180 yes so 181 algorithm used in random or direct access file organization is hashing so that is hashing algorithm is used okay so next we'll go for next five fill in the blank questions 182 abstract model that describes how data is represented and used is it is called data model so here it is 180 second question answer so 183 dash describes the characteristics of an entity so that is attributes so here i'm going to write 183 next 184 the processed for of data is that is processed uh, data is called information so here i'm going to write 184th question answer is information next 185 dash are the people who access the database for querying updating generating reports so that is end user will perform all these operations hence 185th question answer is end users 186 dash is an example for advantages of dbms so here it is data security so that is 186th question answer now we'll go for next five fill in the blank questions 187 key which is not selected as primary key is dash so it is called alternate key so this one is 170 sorry 187th question answer 188 dash key combines two database tables so foreign key combines two database tables so here i'm going to write 188 189 set of values for an attribute in each column is called domain so it is 189th question answer next 190 dash describes how data is represented and used so here data model so this one is 190th questions answer process of cleaning standardizing and loading data in data warehouse is called staging so here it is 190 next five fill in the blanks are 192 each column is identified by distinct header is called attribute so here 192 questions answer next 193 dash is the architecture where users directly sit on dbms and uses it is called uh, one tire so here i'm going to write this one as 193 94 194 each row in a table is called tuple so here you can see 194 next 195th question dash stores data in serial order in the database is called serial file organization so this one is 195th question answer 196 ability of the database to modify schema at one level without affecting it on another level is called data independence so this one is 196th question answer next five fill in the blank questions are 197 set of values for an attribute in each column is domain here i'm going to write this one is 197 198 dash is an application software used for creating updating managing database so that is dbms that is database management system that is 198th questions answer 199 hierarchical model follows dash 
structure. So it follows tree structure. So I'm going to write here. This one is 199th question. 200 dash is a collection of logically related data. That is called database. Here I'm going to write this one as 200. 201st dash is an object like table. That is called entity. So here I'm going to write 201. Next five fill in the blank questions are 202. Each column is identified by distinct header is called attribute. So this one is 202. Next 203 dash is a data model that follows graph structure is called network model. So this one is 203. 204 each row in a table is called uh, tuple actually so I, they have not mentioned here uh, i think there is a typing mistake so here i'm going to write this one as tuple okay 205 dash stores data in serial order in the database is called serial file organization this one is 205 next 206 the ability of database to mo uh, modify schema at one level without affecting it on another level is called data independence so here i'm going to write this one as 206 now let us move on to next five fill in the blank questions 207 dash is an example for data mining software so here gsat is the example for data mining software 208 dash is a data model that follows tree structure that is hierarchical model here I'm going to write this one is 208. 209. Each row in a table is called tuple. Here I'm going to write this one as 209. 210 dash stores data in random order in the database. It is called random file organization. This one is 210. 211. An example for data types used in DBMS is number. Here 210. 11. So that's all in this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. We will see you in the next video.